You know, it's not what we were hoping for. We we pushed for first degree from the beginning. We knew it was going to be a really long, hard road to get to. Um, you know, second degree isn't what we wanted, but ultimately, guilty is guilty. You know, they they lose a few years of their life. We lost her. Whether it was first degree, second degree, regardless, as long as it came down to a guilty verdict, we get our justice for her, and that's what we've been striving for for the last almost four years now. Pointing out what exactly each one was responsible for, and to hear the judge, you know, to hear the words being said that this is what you did, and I, as a judge, find you responsible for that. Again, when it comes right down to it, guilty is guilty. It, we got her justice for her, and that's what we're happy for. It's, it's a life charge. Um, what we get to deal with now is parole eligibilities. Um, so, you know, we, we will provide our victim impact statements. We will be there for the sentencing date. We will be there for parole hearings. We will be there to push and, and to see and make sure that they spend every minute behind bars that they possibly can and should. You know, we're, we're not going to let them ever forget about this. The public is not going to let them forget about it. The people on the inside are not going to let them forget about it. And as long as they spend each and every day knowing what they did, regretting it or not, either way, as long as they can feel that, it's good enough for me. There were a lot of things I wanted to do. I wanted to yell, I wanted to scream, I wanted to be obscene and go right across that courtroom. Um, at the end of the day, what it boils down to and what my exact sentence and, and sentiment was, was that it does not matter the degree that you're charged with. Guilty is guilty and you're both child murderers.